back to my channel now before we get started let me invite you to first subscribe to this channel and to turn the notification bell on I uploaded new videos every week showing entrepreneurs like yourself on how to turn your ideas into digital products and elevate your brand so now that we're past the quick introduction today I will walk you guys through how I create a banner for my Etsy shop in addition to making sure that the image was not blurry and then after I upload the image it will look nice clean and crispy just like you see it in here so let's get you set up and get started what you would need for this tutorial is simply a free account from Canva now if you never heard about Canva well let me tell you I will add a in link down below so you can access their website but in a nutshell Canva is a design app much like Photoshop but much simpler Canva has been my go-to app to create most of my digital products and images, but I also use Photoshop for a lot of my work. So for the purpose of this uh, tutorial, I will not be covering how I use Photoshop. Just check the link down below to open your account and just follow along. So now, when you get to Canva, now let me jump into Canva. When we get to Canva, you will notice that the dashboard and you also the create design and as you can see already i already have etsy here canva makes it really easy they already have the templates already ready for us you just have to click and create they have the correct dimensions for your shop cover and the shop icon if you do not know what a shop icon is let me jump back into etsy this is my back end this is where i can change my shop and just update images uh, the icon is pretty much the logo. That's what you will create for your logo. So when you have a chance, you can go back to Canva and create your shop icon or your shop cover. In this case, we're just going to create the cover. As you can see, I already had the cover created for my shop, which is this is the cover. And you will notice a couple of important elements like your logo or slogan and just pretty much letting people know what your shop is all about and a couple of images of my products over here so people know what to expect. I believe it's important to put product images on so you right away as soon as somebody comes in into your shop they know what you're all about. Super super important. In addition to that you can always create as well and add additional information like the days that you do product release or anything like that. So let's go back to the design tool in Canva. As you can see, blank Canva. <laughs> you can go straight on and select one of their already pre-made designs. I personally like to create from scratch, so I'm gonna be showing you guys creating from scratch a banner. And then you can get your creative juices just flowing. So pretty much I start with background. Background is super important. You can start with a flat, with a flat image or with a flat color, like a basic color or you can do one of their photos as well. You can search for free photos. If you filter down to free photos, you can have an array of pictures and you can search. You can just find exactly what fits for you. For example, let's say this one, you're doing a CrossFit banner for products and workout and you put it something like this and then you work it through it. In this case, I actually am gonna use one of my uploads this is one of the backgrounds that I already had. Um, so I'm just gonna work with this one. Just gonna stretch the image and let it fit here. Let's do this. All right, you got your background down. So now we can jump into logo. I, pers I already have a logo for my store, which is right here. But honestly, I don't wanna use my logo. I'm just, for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna write something. Let's just put a title. Let's say smart agent. Okay, too small. Let's stretch it out. Make it bigger, a little bigger. There we go. But I don't want this font, so let's change to something more modern, like open sans light. All right, that sounds much better. So once you pick your logo or you just write what your, the name of your store, you can do a, a slogan or a subheading just 
to give additional information. So I'm going to put digital templates. Templates for realtors. It's fine. And let me just put it down here. I'm going to change the, I'm going to change it to one of the fonts that I like a lot, which is Moon Time to small too. So let's change it to size 42. Good size. All right. Again, you can, you can write whatever you want. The bases are really the same. So you want logo, slogan, background, and product. And you're free to create, to add any other elements as in Canva to the top uh, left the third down in a row here. You have different elements, you have shapes. These stickers, I don't believe they will work, but anyways, you have plenty to work with. So we got our, our information down, now let's put the products up. So ideally, if you're selling a digital product, when you download, you create your product, then you download it as a JPEG image, then you can upload that image here into Canva and then it will turn out to be like this. So I'm gonna use this one. Let me get, let me do the, where are you? Right here. This one, and then this one. Forms, I'm gonna make it bigger. Bigger is better because it gives also your audience or your clients a way to see your product. So we're going to also click because the image now it's hiding behind. I'm going to click here and I'm going to position and bring this forward. All right. So now you can see Smart Agent. And now let me add one more. Hmm, let's see what we're going to add here. Yeah, I have one that I want to Where are you? Not this one. When you need something, you cannot find. So, oh, there you go. This one. Because that's the buyer's analysis. I'm going to flip to the side, make it bigger. I don't want to cover the leaf completely. Because I still want to give some idea of what is behind it. I don't know. It's important to me to see the leaf. <laughs> so, let me bring this down. This is too big. I like how big it is. So again, you start playing around and just finding what works for you. And as you can see, Canva is super easy for you to see, to use. So you'll be able to kind of move around and get comfortable with it really fast. So as you can see, I'm happy with that. But then again, I do want to change the color for my logo. So I'm just going to go to color here. And you also notice something that just happened. I added this, this images here with the products. And Canva also gave me the colors for every single one. So in terms of branding, that helps a lot because now you, you're gonna be coherent with the colors. So now I'm just gonna change Smart Agent to this gold color. I like that. All right, I'm gonna break this up. It's too thick, this is too big, but for the purposes, it's fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna be super detail oriented here. So now, okay, you got a good a good banner with good amount of information people now know what your 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 shop is all about and now comes the part that what do you want to make sure your image is not going to be blurry when you download this is ready okay you finish your design when it comes down to downloading you're going to download it just as a png and you're going to increase this to maximum size you're gonna increase this to the maximum resolution, and that's how you're not gonna your image is not gonna be blurry. Because as soon as you upload your image into Etsy, Etsy is also gonna compress the file. So if it's already big and in high resolution, it's gonna compress and you're still gonna have a good size. So let's remove this one now and let's upload our new image right here. I just click and drag and drop, or you can just click and upload the file, whatever whatever you place, uh, you saved it. And there you go. You got your smart agent, new banner. Again, I'm not gonna keep this banner. I'm gonna keep my shop banner. I still wanna make some changes to my new, to my current shop banner, which is this one. I wanna change and update some additional information. But as you can see, super simple. Go to Canva, open your account. It's free. 
you can put X in here, start your design, and it's all done. And then you can play around, put different elements, text, colors, and you have a beautiful design. And make sure you do maximum resolution. So when you download, that way you're not gonna have any issues once you upload into your site, like you can see here. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, please thumbs up, make sure you subscribe. New videos every week, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, write down below and let me know what you think. And I will talk to you very soon. Have a great, great day. Bye.